Yo guys, Thirsty Gogeta back at it again, and today we're going to just be talking about some Transformers that, or figures that have been, uh, they've been showcased, or rumored, or speculation that we have been hearing these past couple months, and I'm just basically going to be going over them, so, t so we're going to be starting off with Core Class, for, uh, I was about to say Ratchet, Ironhide here, and he's just, well, Rat... <laughs> God dang it. Ooh, almost cursed right there. So, obviously, they recolored him. Well, gave Ratchet the repaint and to make him look like Ironhide and then slap the name onto it. And I like how they redid it. it. I believe it's just a nice little core class figure. They took the siren lights off. It looks great. I mean, it's a core class. It's a core class figure. I mean, I don't really go crazy over core class figures, but eh, I, I'll, I'm just gonna be talking to uh, talking about them. And speaking of more core class figures, just um, so we we got another legacy core class figure right here for uh, Scar, which is a non-canon character, basically uh, an Ankylosaur Dinobot, and he's going to be basically combining with the other Dinobots into Volcanicus. And we just got some other shots of him right here. Very little articulation, but that's to be expected from core class or smaller figures. And here he is with one of his cannons. You can obviously see that it's going to be becoming the Volcanicus' arms or hands. And people have been going crazy over this swoop, not going to lie. Um, so, this is a core class legacy swoop, and I must say for a core, core class v figure, it looks pretty damn good. Like, the posability is not that bad, and it looks like it's going to be uh, very, uh, I'm pretty sure that the Dinobot mode is going to kind of suffer for a good robot mode, but, eh, it's a core class figure. What, what do you expect? And he's got two handguns quite literally, hand guns, and like I said, uh, the robot, the Dinobot mode was going to suffer a little bit, but it's a core class figure, and something that has been shocking a lot of people is that we haven't had much um, Shattered Glass figures for quite a while, ever since the last Shattered Glass uh, Soundwave, and... Out of nowhere, Hasbro's like, Shattered Glass Grimlock, here we go. And I'm really liking how they put the Trypticon colors on him, and I'm pretty sure that's accurate to how he was in the comics, but I, I think it uh, looks very cool on Shattered Glass Grimlock. And if you don't know about Shattered Glass, basically Autobots are bad guys, Decepticons are good guys. And certain characters will don the other person's color scheme and as you can see Grimlock here has donned Trypticon's color scheme or G1 Trypticon's color scheme and it really shows on his Dinobot mode that he's just basically Trypticon it's just great I like it and um, I have to say that that neck color kind of um, it kind of looks weird on it <laughs> but hey what to expect and here we have a full full image of what the core class Volcanicus is going to look like. And, I mean, I think it looks good for a core class figure. And then here we have all the Dinobots together. We got Scar. Yeah. Eey, get over here. We have Scar right here. And basically turning into a very, very chunky Ankylosaur. I mean... That's how it is. I'm really liking how this core class lot looks here. And um, I must say that for core class figures, they look pretty good. They look pretty damn good. Ooh. Ooh, we're about to get in some very nice news here. So, Commander Class Armada Optimus Prime 
Oh my god, I saw the news for this. I actually have a picture. No, I have another image of him. Right here. I saw this. I saw this on Reddit. And I lost my... I about lost my goddamn mind. <laughs> and... My childhood is screaming right now. No, I, I didn't exactly grow up with Armada. I was on the very tail end. Like, I was born around the time that Armada and Energon were in that in-between era. Not really era, but in-between time. Where we were transitioning from Armada to Energon. Because I'm a 2002 baby. And, um, I didn't really... I didn't really remember seeing much of any of this besides trying to learn how to say Carcaridon Carcarius at the age of two. And, um, but whenever I reached like, I would have to say like first or first through third grade, they had like these books basically talking about the Transformers and everything uh, from Transformers Armada and Energon. Just going over like stories and what are the Autobots, what are the Decepticons and everything like that. And this design of Optimus really, like, I really liked it. And I was able to find Transformers Armada a couple of years later. I think when, actually, no, it was like much, much later. I believe I was on the tail end of fifth grade whenever the Roku came out. And um, they had. Transformers Armada on 2B TV and I started watching it and that was just amazing. I like I loved every bit of it. And I really grew to love this Optimus Prime design and I really like his Power Links colors. Now, whenever this guy, I will definitely be getting this guy, but or I'm probably going to be definitely getting him whenever the Power the Power Links colors come out, which if you do not know those colors that he he gets confused for being nemesis prime but it's not anyways um it looks like he's going to be coming with overload and i'm quite surprised that they're doing a modern interpretation of Mo uh, overload because well i think the last interpretation that we got was from armada and that was like 2001 2002 so it was quite a while ago literally 20 years ago so and it looks like he's going to be coming with indi you know, like not individually but posable fingers like good lord like a posable super mode it looks fucking amazing oh my god it looks amazing and here he is just with the matrix popped out and he looks like he's got starscream saber that you get with the voyager class uh I think a Voyager class Armada Starscream, and it, I, it fits. It really fits, and I'm really liking how it looks. I'm really liking how this looks, and it looks like he's gonna have a hella good posey ability, and it looks like he's gonna scale well with the Voyager class Starscream from Legacy, and I'm just really liking how it looks. I'm really, really loving it. Now we're going to get on to like rumors and everything like that. So they are possibly going to be taking taking uh, the laser Optimus Prime mold or the Scourge mold and making another character out of it called Toxictron. Must say that's pretty interesting. <laughs> I mean, it looks like he's uh, part of the Constructicons in my opinion. But, alright, and then we might be getting a core class studio series mohawk, and, um, I mean, I don't really care, because I don't really like the Bayverse too much, I mean, there are good things about it, but it's overall shit, and I, and, uh, the last night, I just didn't really favor it any better than the other films past one. So, uh, great for your Bayverse fans, but 
I mean, eh. Now we, this might be a mishap, but from Target files and Walmart files, we've been seeing that they're going to do a, um, a movie seven, actually not movie seven, movie six rumble. And it might just be an accidental mishap, a uh, typo, and they're probably going to be doing a core class, so uh, movie 86 rumble. And I have to say that if they do do uh, a Bumblebee movie ask rumble, um, this design right here is just, I mean, I feel like it's more of a Michael Bay design over an actual, like, interpretation of from Bumblebee or G1, because Bumblebee was really going for that G1 look. And we might be getting a core class Bumblebee movie Starscream. I mean, we got the same treatment from Shockwave, but, um... Yeah, I guess we're just going to be getting Core Class Seekers because there's no doubt that they're going to be doing repaints if they do it. And um, we're also getting a Movie 7 for Movie 7 being Rise of the Beasts, Studio Series Scorponok. And um, it might be those little spindly looking clones that we saw in the trailer. Because it turns out that wasn't like freezer clones or anything like that. So it might be a Scorponok here. Which is kind of weird, but okay. And another typo, which is that um, it was saying that they were going to do a movie 6 Sunstreaker. And I can tell you that Sunstreaker was not in, Bumblebee mo in the Bumblebee movie, nor did he have any concept art. And I think anybody with a with a brain knows that. So, um, that's probably just going to be a studio series 86 Sunstreaker, which is, um, I mean, the Earthrise figure was already good enough, but if they do do it, I'm pretty sure they're going to have it like have less panel lines and everything like that. But I think it'll turn out good. And then Studio Series, since they're starting to run out of movie figures, uh, movie characters to do, they're going to start delving into the, vi the video game characters, and I'm so happy, because Studio Series, si uh, War for Cybertron, Sideswipe, Optimus Prime, Megatron, and Starscream, maybe Bumblebee, who knows, is going to be done. And I'm very happy to hear that, because the original... War for Cybertron toy Starscream was very good. And Sideswipe was something. I mean, you're looking at what he was whenever it came out. It was like 2011, 2012, whenever it came out. And I do have the War for Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron video games. And I'll definitely be doing those, get, no, playing those games. But I want to, um, I would like to do streams of it. And I might be making a new channel just strictly for video games because it seems like this channel that we're on right now is just going to be mostly review-esque crap. And it's, it seems like that this channel might not get a lot of subscribers, but my video game one definitely probably will because I'll not only be playing with just myself, but I'll be playing with both of my friends. So, enough about that. Let's get back to this. So we... M this, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I've been waiting for some news of a Studio Series Voyager or Deluxe, probably Voyager class, Bumblebee movie Shockwave. When they did the core class one, I was like, okay, where's our Voyager class? Like, where's our big one at? And they didn't do that for years on end, and it pissed me off because I just loved how Shockwave looked and now we're getting news that he might show up and I um I'm happy to hear it I'm very happy to hear it and I would love to get my hands on it so much because I got I got thrust and I got Soundwave and dropkick and shatter 
And I would love to add Starscream and Shockwave and see if they're probably going to make more Seekers onto that Decepticon collection. Now, I don't have it with me, but I think I would love to have these. Now, something that uh, might be a typo, might not be a typo, is um, the Bumblebee movie Megatron for a studio series for a leader class figure. Figure. Leader class figure. Uh, leader class figure. Now, um, I'm pretty sure there is um, concept art out there for him. And, of course, this is Mega Tank. Right here, this third clap, this third party uh, Transformers figure, and it just rocks. It looks absolutely amazing. Jobby the Hong went over it. I'll leave a link in the description below for Jobby the Hong, and I'm pretty sure you'll find it because it's one of his. I mean, all of his videos are great, but it's. I think it's one of his famous, more famous videos. I have to look at it again, but if not, it's still great. And he goes over the figure, and it's just an amazing figure. And if they, if this is it, and somehow the third-party company got on, got their hands onto the some form of concept art for Bumblebee movie Megatron, and this was it, and Hasbro is realizing that this hit figure's a hit, and they can't really do any do anything about it now. I mean, they're like, well, shit, looks like we're going to have to release our version of Bumblebee Movie Megatron, but you never know. And, um, it's also, like, we have, uh, like, the test screenings of Bumblebee, and whenever they were deciding it was just going to be a prequel to the Bayverse, where every single Transformer had a more G1-esque look to them, even Optimus Prime and Megatron did, and they might do that for Megatron. It'll like have the bucket head shape onto him and have more more plates on him, not like that spindly shit, but an actual like actual real hands and more arm like more plated armor like he's got right here. And more solid uh, solidity to the silhouette of the figure, but with the Bayverse face. Now we heard rumors and of people saying that whenever they looked at the test screening of it, that's basically what he, what Megatron was gonna look like in the Bumblebee movie. But then they scrapped it and realized that they needed to do a reboot. But you never know. But you also never know. If this is another typo in the systems, saying that this is probably gonna be an '86 Megatron. Now. About that, 86 Megatron, he turned into a Walther P-38. And that's a gun. And with uh, toy laws, you can't exactly have your figures or anything of more realistic guns. And I see that being an issue if it is 86 Megatron. And having him turn into a tank, I guess they could do what Transformers Devastation did and like the G1 Megatron, but him turning into a tank. They could do that. They could do that. So, yeah, that's going to do it for today. Uh, sorry I didn't post a video on Saturday, but I was also getting ready to move. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be getting ready to move and we're probably going to be making more uh, video game-esque uh, videos. And uh, I'm possibly just going to make another channel for that because I don't want uh, the two channels to get too, I don't want this channel to be so convoluted with just um, video games and reviews like this going over things because, I mean, it'll just be overall chaotic. I think another channel would be the great uh, best idea, but I'll let you guys know. If I do say, hey, I'm going to be making a video game channel. So, yeah. This has been Thirsty Gogeta. I hope you like, guys like, comment, and subscribe. And that is all for today. Peace.